AI is moving in unimaginable speed. We have a deep fake that makes any photo talk with perfect lip sync. Honor is not given. It is proven. If you raise your blade, be ready to follow through. And we also got an AI that generates entire VR worlds from a single prompt. We have a decent open source model with 1 million context window. And finally, we have an AI that can generate video in real time as you control it. Before we start, I appreciate you if you subscribe to my channel and turn the bell on. Okay, this first AI is called Fantasy Talking by the AMEP Lab at Alibaba Group. Basically, what it does is you give it a picture of anyone and an audio file. Then, Fantasy Talking makes the character in the picture talk with realistic expressions and body movements that perfectly match the audio. Here we see this woman talking. When I was a kid, I feel like you heard the thing, you heard the term, don't cry. You don't need to cry. Crying is the most beautiful thing you can... Wow, the lip sync and facial expression is flawless. Now look at this cartoon character. Oh, don't scare me like that. <laughs> My birthday party's in 10 days, and everyone in the past is going to be there. This is amazing. It's not just moving the mouth. It's bringing the entire character to life. This eliminates the incredibly slow process of manual facial animation. Just insert the audio, and the character performs. And it's not just for fun. Here's a woman advertising this face cream. This nourishing and repairing face cream is rich in natural ingredients and antioxidants, helping to restore the skin's... This is super helpful. Imagine creating entire ad campaigns with digital influencers or product testimonials without booking a single actor. You just need a photo and a voiceover. It even works in different settings. Here's a woman talking while holding this umbrella in the rain. How to reset your life when you are feeling lost. Dear friends, good day to everyone. On this long journey of... Wow, the AI handles the face and body movements perfectly, while also animating the background accurately, even for completely non-human characters like this broccoli man. Oh, I know what to do. <laughs> I can slide and die. This is incredible. You could bring any inanimate object or existing character to life instantly. And look at this example with the style of a painting. Later on, she probably got sick of answering those questions and decided to stick to just two. The protector of justice and the protector of order. This is flawless. The headscarf, the lighting, the artistic texture. It all stays consistent while she talks. Amazing! You could literally make museum paintings tell their own stories. It just keeps going. A man at a bar... Ah, welcome, welcome. You're just in time. I made a fresh batch of my world famous. A girl under neon lights... Oh, don't just stand there, sweetheart. Have a cookie. They're fresh out of the ovens. It even works on a guy listening to music. Walden is a book by noted transcendentalist Henry David Thoreau. The text is a reflection upon simple living and natural surroundings. And here an athlete. If you're seeing this, it's your reminder to get up and go after it today. Every And here this old guy talking. Honor is not given. It is proven. If you raise your blade, be ready to follow through. And a guy in front of a Christmas tree. Ever seen one of those videos where the character's lips move like a bad 90s dub? Yeah. The sheer variety is stunning. With this tool, the ability to create realistic digital spokespeople or animated characters is becoming accessible to everyone. And get this, it works with many styles. Here we have a photorealistic fantasy animation. We're turning up the quality of your characters. 3D character animation style. You want a real piece of advice? Instead of hating your job, try loving the fact sketch being animated. Infinite possibilities. But first of all, you need inspiration. 3D Pixar style animation. Oh boy. Do I got a story for you? Anime style. You think you've seen pain? You think you know suffering? Try biting. A mini robot talking. System online. Diagnostics complete. You seem tired. Fantasy animation style. An audio driven portrait animation model that brings still images to life with flair and personality. Another Pixar style. We're turning up the quality of your characters. And a 3D character animation. With fantasy talking, avatars don't just talk, they act. This shows that fantasy talking can handle a variety of styles. Now, you might be thinking, I've seen this before. But here's the comparison with a well-known model, OmniHuman 1. On the left is the reference image. In the middle is OmniHuman. And on the right is fantasy talking.
Look at the broccoli character comparison. Oh, I know what to do. <laughs> I can slide and die. You can see Omni Human 1 captures the audio. Fantasy talking adds so much more life and expressive motion to the character. It's not even close. And check out this animated girl. Oh, don't scare me like that. <laughs> My birthday party's in 10 days, and everyone in the past is going to be there. Fantasy Talking's version is so much more dynamic and emotional. It's on a whole other level. Here's another one with the woman in glasses. He belongs here on the island with us, not in some home put out to pasture by the archdiocese. Look at the head and hand movements. Fantasy Talking's result is just smoother and more natural. Help provide billions of dollars in funding for new jobs in Colorado and across the nation. Which are For this comparison, the Omni-Human lip sync is way much better than the fantasy talking. Brave warrior, you've come far, but the dark forest is treacherous. Trust your instincts, and remember, the magic lies within your... And this man smoking, the way Omni-Human captures the subtle turn and expression is just more realistic, except for the smoke sticking with him at the beginning. Ah, welcome, welcome. You're just in time. I made a fresh batch of my world. Even with this ice cream vendor, Omnihuman creates more believable and lively motion. It just feels more natural. Here a comparison of this doll character. You look at me and see only steel, don't you? Armor, blade, unyielding resolve. For this, I must give the point to fantasy talking because it was able to animate it naturally than Omnihuman animation. In a quiet village where the sky brushes the fields in hues of gold, young Mia discovered a map leading to forgotten treasures. For this one, Omnihuman is better. Summing up overall, Omnihuman is slightly better than Fantasy Talking, but Omnihuman is still not released. And regarding Fantasy Talking availability, the code's already on GitHub, and it's fully open source under the Apache 2.0 license, which means you can use it, modify it, and redistribute it as long as you follow the terms. It's built on the WAN 2.1 i2v14b video diffusion model with audio-conditioned weights. To run it locally offline, plan on a GPU with at least 40 gigabytes of VRAM. You can bring that down to around 24 gigabytes with 8-bit or Flash ATTN optimizations. Next up, get ready for Immerse Gen, coming from a collaboration between Pico and Zhejiang University. This isn't just about making a video. This is about creating entire worlds. You type in a prompt, like a serene desert island, and it generates a fully immersive 3D world that you can actually step into and explore with a VR headset. Just look at this. They prompted it with island, and it creates this stunning 360-degree interactive scene. You can literally walk around in this generated world. The camera movement is so smooth, the reflections on the water are perfect, and the world feels completely real. Wow! Here's another one with the prompt lake. The AI builds the entire environment, and as the camera moves, you can see the reflections in the water and the detail in the trees. It's like being there. Now, a forest environment. The sense of scale and the way the trees are placed feels so natural. This is incredible. Here's a futuristic city. Look at the complex architecture and the lighting. It feels like a scene straight out of a sci-fi movie, but you can actually explore it. They even did an anime room. The style is perfect, and you can move around inside it, looking at the view from the window. This is amazing. And finally, a vast desert. The scale is just immense. With this, you could create entire VR game worlds or immersive virtual tours just by typing a few words. You wouldn't need a team of 3D artists spending months building a scene. The AI does it for you. So how does it pull this off? Let's look at the framework on screen. It's pretty genius. It all starts over here on the far left in stage one, the base world generation. You give it a text prompt and the AI generates a basic terrain mesh and covers it with a texture to create a layered base world. Then it moves to this middle section, stage two, agent guided asset generation. Here, smart AI agents act like little designers. You can see them here, an asset selector, an asset designer, and an asset arranger. They select assets like trees, decide where to place them, and then generate the textures to create a full scene with objects. Finally, over on the far right, we have stage three, immersion enhancement, where the AI adds the finishing touches, dynamic effects like birds flying, ambient sounds, and other details that make the world feel alive and ready for you to explore in VR. Now, for its availability, the project 
project page is live, but the code is marked as coming soon. This means it isn't fully open source or available to download just yet, and the license for commercial use is still under wraps. I'll drop the link to their website in the description box below. Moving on, we have Minimax M1. This beast was created by Minimax and is being called the world's first open-weight, large-scale hybrid attention reasoning model. What does that mean? It's an incredibly powerful language model, kind of like a GPT, but it's built with a special architecture that makes it insanely efficient at handling super long documents and complex reasoning tasks because it have one million context window, same as Gemini and five times than ChatGPT and Claude models. So how good is it? Here's a benchmark comparing it to other top models. In almost every test, Minimax M1, the red bar, is right up there with and sometimes even beats the best closed source models like OpenAI's O3 and Claude 4 Opus and MRCR benchmark. And this benchmark is all about finding small things in a big chunk of data, which requires the AI to have a massive context window like Gemini and Minimax. That is just amazing for an open weight model. And check this out. On the Artificial Analysis Intelligence Index, which measures performance across a bunch of different tasks, Minimax M1 hits a score of 63, beating out models like Quen and coming in just behind the top DeepSeek model. But here's the kicker. Look at the cost to run these evaluations. Minimax is one of the most cost-effective models in the top tier. It's offering elite performance without the insane price tag. And regarding its availability, the Minimax M1 code's already on GitHub and it's fully open source under the Apache 2.0 license. Minimax M1 comes in two thinking budgets, M140K and M180K. Running it offline requires a multi-GPU server, for example, 8x NVIDIA H800 or H20 GPUs with 80 gigabytes each, which is far from consumer-grade GPU, but hopefully I'm sure we will get more quantized version of that in the future. And finally, Seaweed APT2. This thing is a streaming video generation model designed for real-time interactive applications. In simple English, it lets you generate video as it's happening. You can provide an initial frame and then control a character's pose or the camera's movement in real time. And the AI generates the video at a buttery smooth 24 frames per second. Here, it is generating a video of a woman reading a book, which looks incredibly serene and natural. By the way, all the videos are a minute long. Next, a panda eating bamboo. The motion is perfect and it looks just like a real video. Here's a tiger walking. The movement is so fluid and lifelike, it's stunning. A sea turtle swimming through the ocean. Look at how gracefully it moves. Amazing. Here's a demo of their interactive human generation. You provide an initial photo, and then using this pose stick figure, you can control the person in a real time. Look at how the model instantly responds to the pose changes. This is incredible. You could create virtual avatars that you control live or even generate animations on the fly. This completely changes the game for interactive content and even sheep grazing. But what's really amazing is that compared to its previous version, which could only generate 49 frames, Seaweed APT2 can generate 1,440 frames, a one-minute long video without stopping. That's an insane improvement. With this, you can generate long, continuous video clips for any project without needing to stitch short clips together. The secret to its incredible speed is its architecture. Unlike most models that have to process a ton of information for every new frame, Seaweed APT2 is auto-regressive. It generates just one new frame at a time and then cleverly recycles the previous frames as input for the next one. This, combined with a technique called adversarial training, allows it to achieve real-time generation on a single powerful GPU like an H100. It's a total game changer for speed. Now, when it comes to availability, the code and model are currently not public, as this is still an early research project. This means there is no license available for commercial use at this time. You can, however, find their project website to see the demos, and I'll put that link in the description box. And to run it locally, their research paper states they used a powerful H100 GPU. So to get the real-time performance, they demonstrate you would need access to high-end professional-grade hardware. And I think that's it for this video. Which AI did you find the most useful? I think all of them are mind-blowing, but if I have to go with one, I will pick Immerse Gym. So if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and hitting the bell. Until next time, folks.